Hi! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design your project with 8020 Aluminum in Crafty. 8020 Aluminum profiles are ideal for creating all kinds of projects thanks to their strength and ease of use. At Crafty, you have everything you need to bring your ideas to life and assemble your designs with this material without any hassle. Let's take a look at our catalog. At Crafty, we have the most commonly used aluminum profiles on the market, available in both inches and millimeters. You choose the size according to the strength and type of project you want to carry out. We offer aluminum profiles in sizes ranging from 1 to 1.5 inches, as well as from 20 millimeters to 40 millimeters, so you can choose the option that best fits your project. How do you search for aluminum profiles? There are three practical ways to find everything about aluminum profiles. The first is to filter your search by material and select aluminum. The second is to filter by type and choose 8020. And the third is to type 8020 or T-slot directly into the search bar. What other products do we offer to use with aluminum profiles? Within each category, you will find different types of profiles. The most common is the standard square profile. There are also profiles with 45 degree cuts at the ends. And in some specific categories, you'll find double profiles, triple profiles, rounded profiles, or even quadruple profiles. We also have a category dedicated to connectors with a wide variety of options for joining profiles in different directions and angles. In addition, we offer you a broad catalog of accessories to complement your designs according to your needs. You'll find everything from monitor mounts to wheels that will add mobility to your projects. How are 8020 aluminum profiles used? When you load an aluminum profile, you'll notice several parameters appear that you can modify. The first parameter corresponds to the size. Here, you can select your preferred measurement system, either inches or centimeters. Next, you'll be able to adjust the length of the profile in both directions. Then we have the rotation parameter. Here, you can adjust the rotation of the profile along the different axes, X, Y, and Z. You can also duplicate your profile using the 2X parameter, which creates a copy of the selected profile. Additionally, with the NX parameter, you can generate multiple copies, defining both the quantity and the distance between them. I'll leave you the link to the tutorial where we talk in detail about this parameter. Lastly, you can also quickly duplicate your profile by using Ctrl-C to copy and Ctrl-V to paste. If you need to make any cuts or holes in these profiles, you can use the cuts and perforations parameter. We recommend checking out our tutorials where we explain this parameter in detail so you can understand it better. Next, we have the color and texture parameter. Some profiles come with special colors or finishes. With the colors and textures parameter, you can change its appearance and give your design more coherence and realism. I'll leave you the link to the tutorial where we talk about this tool. Going back a bit to the beginning, when you load a profile, you'll notice some blue plus signs on all sides of the profile. By clicking on one of them, the entire catalog of elements compatible with the aluminum profile will be displayed on the right. You can choose the profile with 45 degree cuts along with the accessories and connectors that are compatible with its size. Remember, the plus signs on the sides show certain accessories and connectors, while the plus signs on the ends display their own accessories and connectors. When you load a connector, for example a T, you'll see positioning options appear. From there, you can choose the placement of the connector on the profile and adjust its rotation as needed. When you select one of these options, we can use the move parameter for this connector. Here we have four main options for positioning the connector. Now I'll explain each of them to you. The first option lets you move the connector freely over the surface of the profile face where you placed it. The second option uses input boxes. By clicking on one and changing its values, your connectors will be positioned automatically. The third is with the alignment points. By clicking on any of these points, your connector will automatically align with precision. Lastly, you can use the offset parameter. By modifying these values, you'll notice how your profile adjusts and positions itself exactly where you want it. It's important to mention that this connector can also be modified. You can change its rotation, its texture or its color. Additionally, you'll now see the attached screws parameter. When you click on it, some yellow plus signs will appear and by selecting them, you can choose the appropriate screw for the connector. I'll leave you the link to the tutorial where we talk in more detail about screws. You'll notice that the connector we just loaded also has a plus sign. When you click on it, all the profiles compatible with this connector will be displayed. When you load a profile, you'll notice that all the parameters we saw before can also be applied to this new profile. One of the most important parameters is Move. With the Alignment Points option, you can quickly place the new profile in its position. When modifying the length of the profile, remember to correctly orient the direction in which it will be extended. This way, you can assemble your design like a puzzle, adding profiles and connectors until you achieve the result you envision. 
Now let's apply all this knowledge in a practical exercise. Let's quickly and easily design this aluminum cart. First, select the 1 inch aluminum profile. Next, change its length to 25 inches. Apply an X to this profile at a distance of 20 inches. Add a 90 degree connector to the first profile. Move it to the far left using the alignment points and apply a 1 inch offset. To the connector, add a 1 inch profile, place it in position using the points and change its length to 20 inches. Apply an NX to this profile at a distance of 23 inches. Now we will place the remaining connectors. Here's an example. Click on one of the profiles. Click on the plus sign where you want to place the connector. Select a 90 degree connector, rotate it to 180 degrees and place it in position using the points. Repeat the same procedure with the remaining connectors until you complete your first frame. Then, use the multi-select tool, select the entire frame and apply NX at a distance of 23 inches. Next, click on one of the vertical profiles. Select the plus sign where you want to place a connector. Choose the 90 degree connector and move it into place using the alignment points. Add a 1 inch profile to the connector. Once it's loaded, place it in position using the alignment points and change its length to 23 inches. Apply an X to this profile at a distance of 20 inches. And place the remaining connectors to complete the frame. Carefully select the two newly placed aluminum profiles and the four connectors. Hold down the sheet key while clicking on each item. Then apply NX to these elements at a distance of 23 inches. Let's place caps on the ends of the profiles to give them a better finish. I'll give you an example of how to do it. Click on a profile. Then click on the plus at one of its ends. Look for the cap in accessories and select it. Repeat the same process on all profiles that need a cap. Now, on one profile, we'll add a handle as an accessory. Click on the plus where the handle will go and select it. Now we'll attach the wheels to the cart. Click on the profile where you want to place the wheel. Click on the plus at the desired spot. In accessories, look for the 2-inch wheel and select it. Then, drag it freely to its correct position. And we repeat the same process until all four wheels are in place. Now to easily change the color of all the profiles, let's click on the parts list. We look for the 1 inch profiles and click to select all the profiles. Then we click on colors and textures and select the color yellow. Finally we're going to select the entire design and click on the check snap button. And that's it, that's how easy it is to design with 8020 aluminum. Before we finish, I want to mention something important. If you plan to build your design in real life, go to the parts list. There, you can automatically generate groups and then create your assembly instructions. I recommend watching the tutorials where we explain this process in detail. And that's it, I hope this tutorial is very helpful for you to carry out your designs in aluminum 